Hey everybody, so a couple months back, I had a chance to go to Germany to go to the Music Messe show, and uh, when that was done, I spent a couple days in Trippendorf and Bamberg, Germany, uh, checking out Toman. Had an amazing time, great staff there, got to meet everybody, hang out and whatnot, but I got to tour the facility, and I made a little video showing off um, just the whole setup there. This is part one, this is like the shipping and sort facility, um, and I got to check out a lot of the quality control they do as well. I really dig Toman because they do, you know, guitars, bass, drums, all that stuff, but they do classical instruments, recording gear, pretty much anything under the sun that's related to music gear they carry. Uh, really amazing operation. Let's check it out right now. Hey guys, welcome to my Toman video. Uh, this is starting off from a view from the offices, just checking out the little town of Treppendorf where Toman is located. And uh, this campus is absolutely freaking massive. Uh, Toman ships all over the world. Uh, they've got outstanding quality control, as you guys are going to see here in a minute. And um, this is the first building we visited, and it's just like rack upon rack, floor to ceiling of all this insane music gear I wish I could afford. Anyway, um, one of the first things we did was we stopped off at a quality control station for Harley Benton. So what's going on here right now is this guy is working on a Harley Benton ukulele with some kind of interesting silicon strings. It's a fretless model. He's uh, doing quality control. He's checking it out, checking for any major defects, bow in the neck, that kind of stuff, checking the strings, make sure everything works as it's supposed to. Uh, one of the things uh, my guide stressed to me was that about 98 to 99% of the people who work at Toman are all musicians. So they know what to look for when it comes to quality control. And I thought that was really cool. Check this out. You know, uh, so when you buy a Harley Benton, you know, you get one of these neat stickers. And uh, I've got that on my studio wall, actually. I thought that was really cool. But yeah, you get a nice certification card, lets you know somebody looked at the instrument and played it and made sure it was in good working order before they shipped it out. Uh, got to say, cool shirt here. Here's somebody doing a little bit of work on some of the classical stringed instruments, this whole station here. There's somebody stringing up this beast. Um, very cool as well. I was just kind of blown away by the dedication everybody seems to have to their jobs here, whether it's, you know, you're stacking stuff or you're just driving a jitney around. Um, everybody really takes pride in what they're doing here, and that's really cool. So this is one of the many conveyor belts running through the whole system. And uh, this is for moving smaller pieces of equipment around. They're all in these standardized plastic boxes. It's great just for moving stuff and in a uniform manner and everything's gonna stack up nice. And there's some larger pallets on a much larger conveyor system and then more racks. And there was a foosball table there that was cool. Um, nice packaging job there. Now this, this kind of blew me away. This is like every drummer's wet dream here this is just rack upon rack of like the best symbols ever made there's like zildagins and sabians and minels as far as the eye can see and oh my god i wanted to you know dive in there and you know pick out something really cool because i really need a new set of symbols more conveyor systems just all over the place And this is the automated sort and retrieval system. This is for stashing those boxes where they can put stuff and keep it on hand for easy retrieval. And uh, uses one of these things uh, to move boxes around. Pretty freaking cool, kind of looks like the Matrix. I like the color scheme, thought that was really neat. And what's really cool is Toman actually employs like four climbers in case there's a problem with one of these machines, somebody can climb up there and go fix it and whatnot. Pretty neat. And this is another ASRS. This is for the much bigger pallets. More automated systems for packages going out to customers. You know, workers can pick out their number and box that up wherever it's got to go. And a giant rack of guitars. Um, again, holy crap. <laughs> At least you know when you order something off the website, there's a good chance they've got it in stock.
All right, now I wanted to show you guys this because there's a bit of debate whether or not the Harley Benton stuff's any good. And I thought it was very important to show this. This is the reject bin. So if they get something in from China that doesn't pass mustard, this is where it winds up because they're not going to give you something that sucks. Uh, here's a guy doing playtesting on one of the Harley Benton guitars right there. And again, I thought this was really important for you guys to see. This is being tested by an actual guitar player. Meanwhile, yes, I really want that ESP. Oh, I can only dream. Now this system here was really neat. This is like uh, their packaging system just before things get shipped out. You can see everything's automated and put out to different shipping stations. And then they've got people at the end of these little conveyors that do all the boxing and whatnot. And here's, you know, the packaging system going full tilt here without the slow motion. Yeah, pretty damn impressive setup here. And, uh, you know, there goes a finished package out to be shipped out somewhere in the world. Very cool. Hopefully that makes somebody's day. Now, this is a desk where customers can actually come pick stuff up if they're local, which is really cool. And this is the Toman Call Center. And this is great. Not only do they speak German, but they've got an international section. So if you call them up, there's a good chance somebody's going to speak the language you speak. Here's a drum set being inspected before being repackaged and shipped out. I thought that was really cool. These guys take their quality very, very seriously. And here's some product shots going on. This is for the website. This is, they do all the photography in-house. Um, I was totally blown away by the setup. I'm totally jealous because I'm really into photography and they're using medium format digital cameras and just basically the best equipment ever made. And uh, here's a Paul Reed Smith getting prepped for photography right here. This guy was really awesome. He took me through the whole process and showed me exactly what they do. And I really appreciate him taking the time. But uh, like I said, I was completely blown away by just the level of gear that they're shooting at. You know, there's a camera there in about the two o'clock position. And, um, you know, here, here's, he's going through the catalog of everything he's shot and they do a lot of the same shots for the different instruments, all in the exact same positions. Very cool. I want one of those cameras so bad. I want that one too. Yet another quality control station. Uh, these guys are working on amp testing and they've actually got a room here I'm going to get a shot of in a second where they can go in and just crank the piss out of an amp to see if there's a problem. If customers got an issue, they can get it sort of. Um, still more uh, setups going on here. This is for the super high-end guitars, the really expensive ones. They've got a team in here that does all the setups and I think this is like an automated setup machine. If I recall correctly, I remember there's something that was really special about this. You can pay them a couple hundred bucks and they will like do an, a perfect setup like everything's computer controlled and get your instrument set up absolutely perfectly. And this is one of the staff on hand uh, that does the setups. And these guys sit in here all day and just set up guitars. They've also got a little concert hall on hand so they can do some demonstrations and whatnot. Hopefully these guys let me do a drum making clinic in here one day. I would really love to do that. But uh, yeah, just a really damn impressive facility. I like the diffusers in the back of the room and whatnot. And uh, yeah, view from the patio and that is their cafeteria. Now you saw that shot with the crane there. I didn't get too much of that. That's actually a new facility being built to add on to the existing facilities. And again, here's their cafeteria. I gotta say this building is absolutely spectacular. They really take care of their staff here. Um, they do appreciate their workers here and it, and it really shows. They really take pride in what they do here. And just to end off this video, here's like a picturesque shot of a gorgeous spring day in Bavaria. This was absolutely unbelievable. Um, like right out of a freaking storybook or something. Um, so yeah, that's my first day at Toman. I've got another video coming up where we actually take a look through the store uh, where customers come drive all from all over the country and check the place out. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, watch for part two of this next week sometime.